Hey there, I'm going to be showing you how to make a unique summary desktop background using Photoshop and a really cool technique that I discovered the other day while I was making my own. It kind of has the feeling of looking at pictures with a friend on the beach and you're just dusting them off to see better. This is great for yourself and also great as a gift for friends, family, or a special someone. Now, I know it's not summer yet and it's still spring, but I just wanted to make a desktop background for my computer when I open it up so that I feel a little bit more warmer than the weather that we've been having lately, which has been a little bit more colder where I am. It just kind of helped me look forward to that warmer weather. Before you start, you'll need a picture of sand that you want to use, and if it's for a special someone, I suggest having both of your initials carved in the sand like I have here, and you'll also need the pictures that you're going to be using for your collage like I have here on the side. If you want yours to look even more like mine, you also need a picture of your hands in the shape of a heart, and it's even better if you have both your hands and your special someone's hands in the picture like I have here. First off, you're going to want to create a blank document. To do this, you just go to File, New, you can title your document, then I like just like to change it to inches for the measurement, and then you input your width and height for your desktop background for your computer, and if you don't know how to find that out for your own computer, you can just Google it quickly and I'm sure you'll be able to find that out fast. Then you just press OK. I'm just going to press cancel because I already have my blank document open. Mine is 26 and half inches by 16 and half inches. Then you're going to go to File, Place, and pick your sand picture, then click Place again. I'm just going to drag this to the top left corner here. And I'm going to press shift and drag it out so that it fills the entirety of the blank document and that there's no white space left. Then just press enter and you can drag it to wherever you want and also again making sure that there's no white space left. Then you're going to go over here to layers where it says opacity and it's at 100% right now. So making sure you're clicked on that sand photo, then I'm just going to adjust it to 70 opacity. You can adjust it to whatever percent you want that you like the best, and then I'm just going to click outside here. Then I'm going to go over to file again and place, and if you're wanting to do the hand shape part, just pick that picture out and press place again. Then you can just press shift and drag it out to roughly the size that you want to go over your initials and I already have the heart traced out here so I'm trying to make it roughly about the size of the one that's already there. And just press enter and then you're going to want to click on the layer that has your sand and move that up to the top or vice versa whichever you want to do and as you can see the picture is now able to be seen underneath the sand and all your pictures following will be able to do the same. And if you want to make any more adjustments to the scale or rotate it like I do, you just go over to Edit, Transform, click Scale or Rotate, whatever you want. I'm also going to adjust the scale just a bit. Press enter. Then you're going to go to file, place again, and start putting all your pictures in that you want to be in your collage. Click place again. And you can again adjust the size or rotate it, whatever you want. Just press enter again. And you can go over here to your layers and move that to where you want it. So I just want it to be underneath that other picture, so I'm going to put it beneath there. Then you can continue to place the other pictures that you want to be in your collage. And you can adjust where they are layering, making sure that they're all underneath the layer of sand. I forgot to press shift. Just I press shift so that it doesn't squish weird so that it keeps its shape well. Then press enter and again continue to pick your pictures that you want in there. And I'm going to rotate this one. 
just so you kind of get that scattered collage look to it. And transform the seal. Press shift, make that a little bit smaller. Press enter. And you can continue to fill out the rest of your collage here with these empty spaces. I'm just gonna leave it like this so that I can continue with showing you the rest of the technique. Next, you're going to click on the eraser icon here and go to where it says brush and click on the size that you want, making sure that it's one of the soft hardness adjustments. I'm gonna pick 200 for mine. And you're gonna to wanna to start going over all of your pictures with the eraser so that your Oh, first you want to make sure that you're on the sand layer that you want to erase to bring out the pictures. So you just click on that and it's going to say this smart object must be rasterized before proceeding. You can just press OK, there's nothing wrong with that. And like I was saying, you just go over the pictures so it, that it uncovers the parts that you want to see, making sure that you still have a little bit of sand over covering the picture so it looks a little bit natural and has that technique that I was talking about. And if you have empty spaces like this, I'm sure you won't have as much as I do, but make sure not to go over it or else you'll get this white from your blank document showing through, which is what you don't want to do. So if you do that by accident, just go to undo or step backward and then continue to go over your pictures in the places that you want to see the most while making sure to keep a natural look to it as if the sand is on it and you're just uncovering it to show your friend. Next you're going to want to go over if you have the heart hand here with an eraser. I'm going to pick a smaller one just so it fits better and doesn't erase too much that I don't want. I just picked a hundred there. And I'm going to make sure that I go over the lines that are here too as well so that they're gone if that's in your picture and if it's not then you don't have to worry about that too much. But you just want to kind of go over it so it looks natural and as if your hands are still covered a bit by the sand. And every time I do this it looks a little bit different so you just do it however you want to just making sure that it looks natural and real. It's starting to look like a really neat technique. And then you can just go back and make some adjustments and go over little bits that you want to see a little bit more if you want. And that's about it. Now I'm sure you'll have a lot more pictures in your collage. Please leave any comments down below on things that you liked about this and maybe any questions that you have on what I did. Give this a thumbs up if you liked and also subscribe if you want to see more of the videos that I make. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Hey there. I'm going to be showing you how to make a unique desktop basketball ball ball. Hey there, I'm going to be showing you how to make a unique summary desktop background. Hey there, I'm going to be showing you how to make a unique summary desktop background using Photoshop.